I created Species Nutrition with one mission in mind, to provide bodybuilders and serious athletes with no-nonsense supplements that work. I put my name and reputation on every bottle of Species Nutrition products. If you want to be your absolute best, join the evolution. You are watching Midday Muscle. It's Tuesday. Let's go. You might recall those comments from IFBB head judge Steve Weinberger a few weeks ago when he said he thought Rami should sit out the Olympia this year because he just didn't see a path for him to get back to being a legitimate title contender this year, given what he brought to the table at the Arnold. Well, that was a huge statement that really took a lot of people by surprise. But according to the big man himself, during an interview on Dennis James' podcast last week, he said he has absolutely no intention of sitting out this year's contest, and that his goal this year is to just come in and be better than he was at the Arnold and at the 22 Olympia. If he can do that, then he'll consider whatever the end result is to be a success. Now, I'm sure that the aggregators will take that statement and run with it, but at the end of the day, Remy's a bodybuilder and he loves to compete. And if he shows up with championship level conditioning, he's gonna give Hottie and the rest of the boys all they can handle once they get out there and start battling. And we got some major news for you coming out of the wellness division following the announcement that former two-time women's physique Olympia Shanique Grant is coming out of retirement to compete as a wellness athlete. Hell yeah. Now I think for any fan of women's physique or wellness, this one had to be a woe moment because after she bowed out a few years ago, it really did seem like Shanique was going to hang it up for good and move on to bigger and better things. So the fact that someone pedigree is making a move to wellness immediately elevates the profile of that entire division. At this point, we don't think Shanique's confirmed when she plans on making her debut. But if she rolls in and looks dominant from day one, these next few months will get interesting in a hurry, because she might be ready to come in and contend for a title from day one. Now, Carlos Thomas might not be in the exact same boat as Shanique Grant, but to his credit, it looks like he's also doing everything he can in his power to make sure he's also ready to come in and be a contender from day one. There was a little bit of concern from some out there when he ended up pulling out of his rookie debut at the New York Pro at the last minute. But for the most part, it looks like he's put a lot of those doubts to bed with a handful of updates that we've seen since then, including this most recent one that he posted last week where his proportions looked absolutely insane. Right now, the word from his camp is that he's still working to get a few things in order before he does step on a pro stage for the first time at some point later this summer. But if he can continue to keep tightening things up, bringing out some more details, it definitely feels like there's a world where he can be a top five finisher right out of the gate. When Carlos won his pro card right out of the gate at the NPC Nationals a few years ago, he already started to generate a lot of excitement from the fans who saw him as being someone with a pretty high ceiling. But with all due respect to Carlos, the buzz we're hearing right now about this newly minted 20-year-old pro, Nihat Kaya, and sorry if I pronounced that wrong, is above and beyond anything we saw from Carlos, or any other young guy on the circuit for that matter, in a very long time. You might even have to go back to the Cody Montgomery days to find someone who was this young, already so complete from the jump. The shape and quality of the muscles that this kid's carrying around does feel like it's different than most of the guys we see come through in the amateur ranks. Right now, his camp is planning to have him take the next year or so off before they even think about rolling him into a pro show, but if he puts together a solid 12 months of training and comes into 2024 with a few more pounds of quality stage weight, there's going to be a lot of excitement surrounding this guy and his debut whenever he's ready to dial it in. We have made it to the end of another Midday Muscle. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day. See you tomorrow.